channel. So today I am doing a video. I got tagged by another mom. Her name is Shauna and her channel name is Modern, is it Hosswife? <laughs> From the way it's spelled. Anyways, I will leave her video down below in the description. So yeah, she tagged me earlier this week um, and it is, I'm guessing called um, Honest Mom Tag. Um, so yeah, there's 10 questions, so I will answer the 10 questions, maybe truthfully, I guess. <laughs> so, question number one. How many kids did you always want? How is that working out for you? So, originally whenever me and my husband got married, we always wanted two kids. One boy and one girl and yeah we got that so little fun fact after my daughter was born on my birthday in May my husband got fixed so yeah we couldn't have any more children and then when was it I don't know we grew a little bit older and we decided that we want more like I guess it just happens. You see other kids, your kids grow older, and yeah, now we want a huge family. We want more kids. So, when was it? It was in North Carolina, and it was Christmas Eve. He got his thingy reversed on Christmas Eve. And that day, we were living in Fayetteville, and we had to drive all the way over to Raleigh to pick up my mom and my brother. So yeah, that was very fun. He was very sore and I guess he forgot his pain meds. So yeah, very fun fact. So I would say we are trying to conceive and yeah, hasn't worked yet, I guess. Maybe he just needs to get, I don't know, checked out again. So yeah, we really want at least one or two more. If that doesn't work out, like if we go to the doctor and find out he can't, then we're looking at maybe adopting because we have some friends in this area that have adopted. And, you know, we just love the thought about adopting because why not? I mean, all kids are blessings. Number two, where is your secret hideout? So I can't seem to find my wife. I've looked everywhere. I've looked in the house. I've looked outside around the house. The last place I can think of is in the barn. I don't know why she'd be in the barn because there's usually animals. It stinks like cow poop, but we'll give it a shot. <sighs> and looky what I found. Whoa. What are you doing in here? Looking everywhere for you. What are you doing in here? Nothing. It looks like you're up to something. S Special K and almond milk. You're pretty wild. Haha, <laughs> 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 no one's gonna find me here. <laughs> hmm. Number three. Would you rather take the kids to the grocery store alone or scrub the kitchen floor by hand? Why would I want to scrub the kitchen floor by my, on my knees and by my hand? I mean, if we moved into a new house, maybe I would scrub it by hand, but not right now.
proudest mothering moment to date? Well, I guess the first one would be really easy. Like, Briley, she, it just makes us so proud that she is ready to be baptized. Like, her and her brother baptize each other in the pool all the time. And you can literally have conversations about Jesus with Briley and she just knows a whole lot like she's very spiritual and kind and like the sweetest little girl that really I've ever met she is so caring like really I'm gonna have to pause right here the phone is ringing all right so I'm back um, okay, and then I guess the other proudest moment for Connor, I would say, would be... Alright, some of you may or may not see it. Connor can be a bit grouchy. <laughs> and yeah, it's just a huge surprise whenever he is being very very sweet to his sister he's one of those brothers that can be you know honoring to his sister but also like he's very very sweet to his sister and I don't know it just most of the mornings whenever he's awake he's awake before his sister he will make her breakfast he will pour the cereal in a bowl and pour the milk and just make her breakfast and that is just the sweetest little thing. <laughs> that is definitely something. Number five, for the sake of my kids, I gave up. I would say I gave up. I would say I gave up my school. Like I have a little bit of credit for going to college. Whenever Connor was a little over a year old, um, he had a flat spot on his head, so we had to take him to get checked out. He had to get an MRI done, and we had to see like a specialist in Dallas, and yeah, like we had to see another specialist in Oklahoma whenever we were living in Texas, and yeah, I had a. I took a long break from college. I was going to Ashford University, and yeah, like the doctor in Oklahoma was thinking he had, um, oh dang it, I forgot the name of it. Of course, always. Um, hydrocephalus, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, so the doctor there thought he had hydrocephalus because his head was pretty big. And yeah, I don't know if you can tell. My kids have big heads, and my husband also has big, <laughs> a big head. So that's where they get it. But yeah, he, we thought he was gonna have to do the helmet, and yeah, I guess he didn't need it. We went to Dallas again, and they told us, you know, we we're there for like five seconds in the room just to be told our son is fine. So yeah, I stopped college and yeah, I pretty much didn't start because I thought, you know, we were gonna go through some things with our son because he had to get an MRI done and I was a new mom. So yeah, by then I had two kids actually. So yeah, and then with the military, we were moving and we didn't know if he was going to get deployed or anything like that. So yeah, right now, I still don't know what I want to do for my career. I am leaning more towards being a counselor because I like to listen to people. I like to offer them, you know, help not necessarily tell them what to do but you know in metaphors I just like to help people and I like to th make things positive number six were your kids planned surprise or other well Connor he like we wanted to have a kid but we weren't necessarily you know 
trying to have a kid, but we knew like if we had a kid, we were gonna be ready. So yeah, Connor, I can't remember what really happened with him. I knew I got morning sickness, and I remember I worked at Walmart, and I would always see these other girls being pregnant. So one day, I remember I was so jealous of them, I would run my belly, and I think that's maybe like about the time that I conceived or something. And then a few days after, yeah, I took a test and I was pregnant. So I thought that was awesome. Briley, on the other hand, it was Halloween. We were living in Texas at the time and we were staying the night at his grandma's. And she had fixed a big breakfast and we were all sitting at the table and I went to sit, well, I don't even think I sat down. I went up to the chair, I looked at the food, and almost threw up on the food. <laughs> I ran to the bathroom, and I came back out, and I'm like, Mitch, I think I'm pregnant. Like, I think I just told him, Mitch, we need to go to Walmart right now to get a test, because yeah, <laughs> I knew something was up, and I knew the feeling of being, you know, sick morning sickness so yeah that is number seven lowest moment in mothering to date um, I don't know I think every person has a moment of you know like punishment mine would be yelling like there are times I still yell at them but I've gotten better at it like we don't really yell at our kids anymore because one it hurts our breath or it hurts our throat and two it just doesn't do anything like it doesn't so I would have to say it's just that number eight favorite birth story this one is funny I was talking to my mom about this yesterday um, so on Connor, it was like six or eight hours of being in labor, you know, it was just normal, you know, yeah. Um, but Briley, it was like six hours, five hours, and yeah, I was laying there. I did have my contractions. But I was laying there and I remember feeling like I had to go number two. I wasn't even pushing. Not at all. I knew I wasn't pushing. But yeah, I remember telling my doctor, I'm like, I think they need a check. And yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, they're like, oh my gosh, you know, she's coming out already. <laughs> And my doctor, like, I had him for both of the kids. But yeah, he's Hispanic, and he comes in running, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, like, it was so hilarious. But yeah, he almost missed her. Like, I barely even pushed. <laughs> so yeah, I would say that's the funniest. I guess my mom's funniest, I would say, would be her delivering me. And it was whenever I pooped on the doctor's hand. <laughs> but yeah, I would say she was very easy. My birth to my daughter was very easy because, yeah, barely been pushed and I was ready to go. Like, I wanted to leave, like, right after. I wanted to walk and do all that. I was just ready. Number nine, quality of yourself you see in each child child quality of yourself you see in each child um Connor, clean your room. No! 
Connor, clean your room. No! No! Connor, now. No! Your room is a pig's no! eye. No! No! Papa! say not that <laughs> I would say my kids are very well mannered and I'm pretty well mannered as well I won't I don't really s would say I don't speak my mind to people just because I don't want to upset them or anything like that and yeah I guess we're just too caring Number 10, something you never thought you'd do as a parent. Something I would never thought I would do it as a parent. Those are the 10 questions. I hope you guys enjoy this. And I don't really know who to tag. Like first tag, I would like to tag the Mendoza family. And I want Nando to do it because he reminds me of the movie, the, what is it? Mr. Mom. You know that one song? The next person I tag is Emily from the Jackson Hive. All right, I think I'm gonna do another Mr. Mom. And this one will be Nick Barrows. I challenge you to answer these 10 questions. And so yeah, the people that I tag, make sure you look down in the description. I'll post all the questions so you don't have to go through the video and answer them. So yeah, thank you very much Shauna for tagging me in this. It was very fun to make and yeah, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video and, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya! So I'm going to be posting this video on, on a Friday and my husband and I have decided that we might go live. So make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we go live. And yeah, we were thinking about either doing a live video of us shopping at the tax-free school thing or us making dinner and chatting with you guys. So yeah, let us know which would you like to see and yeah, just look out for the video coming out. So yeah. See you guys later.